for kids' time, but we have something important to do. Did you hear that Bible story today? It said that Jesus was going up a mountain with his disciples, and we have to go too. Are you ready? What do you mean? Of course I know it's cold. That's why I have a jacket on. Yeah, see, I got my shoes and my harness, my, my rope and my helmet. I'm ready. Are you? Wait, why are you looking at me like that? I'm not crazy. I was just listening to the story. Oh, maybe. Did I misunderstand it? Oh, I guess we better read it again together. Now listen, I'm not changing out of this outfit until I'm sure that we're not going up a mountain with Jesus, all right? But we should read the story, so if you have a Spark Bible, I would invite you to pause this video and go and grab it so that you can follow along with me. And we'll see just what it says. This is a story called The Transfiguration. Peter, James, and John were very excited. They were climbing a mountain with Jesus. See, I told you. Higher and higher they climbed, right to the top. Then they noticed something different about Jesus. Jesus' face and clothes were bright and shiny like the sun. Moses and the prophet Elijah were standing with Jesus, talking about God's promise to save the world. Peter couldn't believe his eyes. Suddenly, a cloud covered the mountain. A voice said, This is my son. Listen to him. The voice was God. Peter, James, and John covered their faces. Then Jesus touched them. They peeked up. Everything was the same as it was before, even Jesus. On the way back down the mountain, Jesus, Peter, James, and John talked about God's promise. But they didn't tell anyone else what happened on the mountain for a long time. Okay, maybe I got the story a little bit wrong there at the beginning. I guess we're not really going mountain climbing with Jesus, but that'd be pretty cool. So I guess I can get rid of this stuff. Well, you know what is really amazing about that story? Peter and James and John, Jesus' disciples that went up that mountain with him that day, well, they were seeing Jesus being transformed before their eyes. Jesus started to look like different from how he looked before. He was all shiny and his clothes were super duper white. They had never seen Jesus like that before. Now, sometimes things happen in our lives that we can barely even believe. Like maybe someone that you really didn't like ends up becoming one of your best friends. That's pretty hard to believe. How does that even happen? Or maybe you feel love in your heart for someone that you don't even know. How does that even happen? Or maybe you do something that's really not great and your parents still forgive you. They still love you. That's amazing. You know, we don't see Jesus transform like this in our everyday life, but sometimes things do happen that we just can't explain. And that doesn't make them any less real. So this story changed the lives of the disciples. They never saw Jesus the same again. They knew that he was not, not just a human, but that he was God. And so be on the lookout in your life. Are there things that happen that you just can't explain? Love or joy or compassion. All of these things we sometimes can't explain where they come from. Maybe. 
just maybe. That's kind of like Jesus in this story. These things like joy and love and compassion, they help us see the world in a different way. In a way that isn't so boring or sad, but different. They change the way we see the world. That's incredible. Well, you know, now I might just have to go find another mountain to climb because I was really excited about this. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll see you back here next week for kids' time. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.